Hey guys, it is Nat, Chef Ryan, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a clam chowder. Let's get in the kitchen. He's a little overweight and he likes to eat, but he's not a chef. He's not a chef. That's why he's not Chef Ryan. So you can find all the ingredients and the measurements listed below in the description for this video. Alright, so as you can see here, I've got a little bit of bacon cooking. And we've let that fat render off. That's what we're going to cook our vegetables in. So I'm going to pull this bacon off and set it over to the side. Now some people like to put a little bit of bacon in their clam chowder, and that's fine if you like to do that. But I'm going to try to stick with the traditional method today. Okay, so along with our bacon fat, we're going to go ahead and stick two tablespoons of butter in there, and we're going to let that melt down on medium. So as you can see here, I've got some baby clams, about 10 ounces, and I've drained the juice from that. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my butter and my bacon fat. And then we're gonna add a cup of finely chopped onion to that, as well as some celery, which I've just scored here, as you can see. We're gonna let some of the flavor out. It's a little bit skimpy, guys, but I got them in my garden. And a couple carrots that I've done the same thing to. I'll just stir that around until these onions start to become translucent. So this is cooked on medium for about eight minutes. And as you can see, it's starting to reduce down a little bit. I'm gonna pull the carrots off and get that celery out of there. We're gonna add one tablespoon of flour to this. And we'll give that a stir. And we'll stir that around until this becomes kind of pasty. So I've chopped up some potatoes here, uh, some new potatoes, real small, and we're going to let that boil in some water and kind of soften up, and then we'll add those to our paste a little bit later. Okay, so our paste is formed here, and we're going to go ahead and add the potatoes to this. Give that a stir. Okay, so now we're going to add about 32 ounces of cream to this, and we'll put about two and a half tablespoons of fresh parsley in there and we're gonna salt this to taste. Okay, now that we've got all this mixed together, we're just gonna bring this to a real light boil and we're gonna leave that on the heat for about another 10 minutes or so and let some of that uh, moisture evaporate from the top, get some of that cream reduced down and then we're gonna go ahead and add our clams. All right, so this has been cooking here for about 10 minutes and we're gonna add just a little bit of black pepper to this. Just a little bit, not too much. And we've reduced our heat down to simmer. We're going to add the clams. I'm going to cook these with the clams for too long, guys, because they start to turn kind of rubbery and they don't taste so good. We'll give that a stir, keep it on the simmer for a little bit, and then we'll be ready to eat. All right, so our clams have been brought up to temperature. They are, of course, pre-cooked. We are ready to serve this up. you guys love our video today on how to make a clam chowder. It's really easy. Give it a shot. I know you're going to love it. For more great videos, please check me out on my website, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or YouTube channel, which you can all find at Not Chef Ryan. Till next time, this is Not Chef Ryan. Say hello what you cook and cook what you love. Thanks for watching.